the legs pushing up on the I'm stairs. I'm feeling it. Though the high that you get from the line. If you feel the rage of hell in the sky. I'm all right, guys, let's talk about this one second. So I touched, touched upon it in one of my other videos. I want to touch upon it here and then make it very quick because I got other things I need to do. So Kenji, my man Kenji. We'll talk about Kenji. Kenji breaking up with Brooklyn was the best thing. Why Kenji breaking up with Brooklyn was the best thing for his character. It was the best thing for his character because... Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of people in the Darius and Brooklyn camp that did not like it. And I'm one of them. But I did say in the video, like I said in multiple videos, if you develop the character, if you written their character right, if you do that, then it won't be a problem. The problem is they never written his character properly with me, with for me, for him to get with Brooklyn, just didn't do it. Darius was written well enough, and they have a better chemistry and development together with Brooklyn than Kenji and Brooklyn. I, I think I said it before. Darius brought the best out of Brooklyn, and Brooklyn brought the best out of Darius. That didn't really happen with Kenji. Kenji, Darius brought the best out of Kenji, but that was his character. He brought the best out of everybody so they could survive. But it didn't really work that way. How, however, now with how things are going with his character, Kenji is really becoming a fan favorite now because he has to break up, knowing that he made a mistake, knowing what happened with his father. He's become a very sympathetic character. Um, his character is a little bit written better. He's accepting the fact that Darius and Brooklyn had a relationship, probably a little bit more than what they thought. I think Kenji's not stupid. He knows. I think also what's going to happen to him once Kenji be like, yeah, I want you guys to get together, and that's going to win the fans over. That's exactly what's going to happen when he, they say, okay, yeah, you know what? I really want you to get with 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 Brooklyn. That's what's going to win them over, uh, majority of the fans over. Um, he's definitely grown up. He's more of a – not a – a rich pompous anymore he's more of a he, he's grown up he he life matters more to him than what it did before um money's not an issue like it was before um he's a more of he's like darius in a way how darius was when he got to the island they have definitely did a 180 on his character even when i was watching i was like oh, okay he broke up with her and he could have stayed with her and kept the kept the uh, fake thing going. But no, he was like, this is not working no more, Brooklyn. You're not here. Us is not working no more. And, you know, that's a that's a big, big task for him to do. He didn't have to do it. He's like, I got my girl I wanted. No, he, he said, fuck this. This is not working. We need to move on. And I am impressed how that was well written. And even in the flashbacks and how it was shown. How he broke up with her and felt bad by breaking up with her because he didn't get to say goodbye, you know, that he wanted to. And probably find out that the last message that was left from Brooklyn was to Darius, not to Kenji. And you can tell that kind of hurts him a little bit. He wants to hold the phone. He wants to do this because he feels he feels bad about it. And you see that throughout his character and the development, he's becoming a sympathetic character. There's now people that actually say that Brooklyn is a uh, thought. <laughs> She's a thought arena. She is from them streets. And I'm like, not really, because, again, we still don't know what Darius and Brooklyn did. We don't know. Now, <clears throat> I ain't saying nothing, but I, I think um, they got they got it shocked up. But I don't know. It's still a kid's show, so I don't know where route they're going. But I think it was the best thing for him because, like I said, I did not care for his character because it's the same type of character. But, man, I will say this, though. It's definitely... Uh, It's definitely gotten a whole lot better um, with um, Kenji. So 
I I I I see Kenji even being MVP of seasons two or favorite character of the show. Um, right now, my favorite character has been, I think, Ben is Ben is Ben Ben Ben's awesome. Um, but the way things are going, I think he's Kenji will become a fan favorite this season. Um, and I've seen a lot of people kind of deviate from Darius because Darius was a fan favorite in sees in the Camp Cretaceous because everybody can relate to Darius who loved dinosaurs. Um, as me, I related to Darius because I was like that when I was a kid. Darius is kind of. Hopefully he gets that same character he had in Camp Cretaceous in season two, but season uh, one of Chaos Theory, he was not the same character. He made a lot of stupid mis- dis- mistakes. He kind of let his emotion take over, and that's not Darius. But you know, he was he was trying to uh, cope with the loss of Brooklyn. So we thought Kenji was too, but Kenji still talked to Darius' mom once a week. You know, so you can tell Darius is I mean, Kenji was still like doing, you know, but anyway, I'm going off topic. I'm rambling a little bit. Forgive me. So, yeah, I do think uh, bringing Kenji bringing up with Brooklyn was the best thing for him. Um, Brooklyn, I don't care, <laughs> but I think that was the best thing for his character. And I think he's, he's going to have a lot more fanfare, a lot more fans and probably a lot more development throughout the season now because of that. So, yeah. As always, guys, peace, and see you guys in the next video.